Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome to the first ever episode of the sketchbook podcast in 2020 and in this episode I'm going to be blabbering my mind off when it comes to how to make a lasting change with tiny habits let's get into the episode <laughs> All right. In this episode, we're going to be talking about habits, tiny habits. And by the way, this is the second take that I'm doing. And actually, that is a good thing with me doing a second day. My camera for some reason kept on shutting off. On and off and on and off and on and off and man, it's so frustrating. The first podcast of 2020 and I'm blabbering and the first work day and everything is going ahead. <laughs> right? But hey, we're going to recover right if you have seen american football you know i i think most people have seen it probably half of the audience who are listening to this podcast are not indians for the non americans out there who have watched american football right even though a game is going for a, like for a team it's going really bad in the first half they can actually come back and recover in the second half right so that's the analogy i'm going to use here the day has gone extremely bad but we're going to recover with this last thing and hopefully everything goes right so that we can start our next day with i don't know power or something i don't know hashtag power in your fist <laughs> that's like a dumb hashtag anyways i want to quickly talk about tiny habits this is going to be a very quick podcast If you have watched my main video on tiny habits, I would highly recommend you go and watch that video before you listen to this podcast. Uh here's a story. Here's a story, right? I've been I've I've always been the habits guy, you know. If for me the idea is this, if you build your life with good habits here and there, if you build good habits into your day-to-day -day routine and day-to-day -day ritual, you're going to be good, you know. that is a movie the kingsman right he says manners make a man right and i would make some slight altercations altercations no alterations <laughs> Alter i i think alteration is a completely different word <laughs> i'm bad my english is oh, what am i saying jesus um english is not my mother tongue yeah it's not my first language i know a different language but you know i learned to speak english on my own anyways alterations i would i would make an alteration to that line which is habits make a man or women you know we're not trying to what's that word we're not trying to we were trying to be inclusive even though i don't i'm not a big fan of just being inclusive for the sake of inclusivity but yeah habits make a people how about that you know but i like the word habits make a man or habits make a women anyways uh habits make a people For me, if I if I I have I have the idea that if I if you build sustainable habits in your day, you can go and do uncertain things in your life, especially creative acts and creative work because creative things are really 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 uh, uh you know, uncertain. It's very hard, you know. You sit down, you're facing a fear, you're facing a demon, you you're facing the blank page. That thing is like staring back at you and saying I'm going to You are the worst person on planet earth and you are worth nothing and you will never succeed right and that 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 feeling is hard <laughs> right so you need something on your in your daily routine to base yourself against to call it as a home or a ground zero where you can come back to right and that's what that's what I that's how I see habits as and i've been trying to build habits over the years you know i've built many habits like meditating working out consistently drawing every day or most days uh, and uh, you know a bunch of other things journaling you know thinking good you know one of the habits mindset habits i've lately built is trying to see the upside of things rather than down rather than the downside you know for the most part i'm not always perfect with it for the most part i i see the upside anyways If I look at my day-to-day -day rituals over the past years, you know, all of the habits I, that I've built, I'm consistent with it, but I'm not doing them daily. Like it's not like I'm brushing my teeth. It's, it's nothing like brushing my teeth, right? Brushing my teeth, I do it every day. Drawing, I do it most days, not every day, because you know, work gets in the way. During my hundred days of sketching challenge, I draw every single day. I'm on point, six minutes a day. It's so easy, right? 
But when it comes to say, when I'm off the challenge, I miss days here and there, and I miss in you know, a couple of days here and there. What I wanted to do was I wanted to build something that's even more sustainable, even more on point, and something that really helps me to improve my craft of drawing. So that's where, if I tiny habits came in, if I look at I'm, I'm like constantly jumping places. I know, I know. Bear with me for a second. <laughs> If I look at my day-to-day -day rituals and day-to-day -day routines over the past year, I have these two habits that I've been doing consistently day in and day out without fear. And those habits are, are one, drinking water after I wake up, drinking two to three cups of water or three or four cups of water, like I chug them down or like a bottle of water. I do them when I'm at home, I'm do, I do that when I'm traveling, I do that when I'm in hotel rooms, I do that every single time. That's one. And two, I make my bed every single morning without fail. I make them, I make them, I make them. I probably missed two or three days last year when it comes to making my bed. Other than that, I make my bed every single freaking day without fail. And I was like, Kesha, these are the two habits that have actually stuck with you. What exactly? that you can learn from those habits, that you can incorporate to other habits that you've been consistent with, but not, you know, really consistent with, you know, like meditating. I've, I've meditated for seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months consistently every single day, then I drop off. Like for a few months, I don't meditate. I don't do anything. I want, I want, to, I want to keep it sustainable. I want to keep it, have it. I want to do it every day, you know? I want to do that. Uh, exercising, working out. Right, that that I uh, right now since I'm on a hundred day challenge for exercising, I'm doing it every day, which is good. Before that, I I miss here uh, days here and there, you know, like you know, I'm like, oh man, it's been a long day. I'm not gonna exercise today. So that that's how the story has been before. So I was like, I want to look at the habits that I've been consistent with. I'm gonna learn from them and put them into these other habits. And that's where Tiny Habits came in. So I came across this thing called Tiny Habits Program by BJ Fogg. BJ Fogg is a Stanford, uh, for some reason I'm stuttering. BJ Fogg is a Stanford professor who's an expert on behavior sciences. I was gonna say behavior economics. I don't think, <laughs> I don't know why I even wanted to say that. He's an expert on behavior sciences. He's been doing that for 20 years. And he says there are Three things that a human being can do or have to make a lasting change in their life. By the way, we're talking about lasting changes because it's the New Year's 2020, right? Everybody wants to make a change. Everybody wants to achieve their New Year's resolution. Right? That's why we're talking about this. Anyways, he says three things. One is you have an epiphany. Like, you know, Rocky. I, I don't think Rocky had an epiphany. I don't know, something like that. Maybe Sylvester Stallone had an epiphany one day to write the script for the movie Rocky within two days. And he, that movie turned into an Oscar winning blockbuster thing, which started off his career, right? Have an epiphany like that. Or two, change your environment. Change your environment to make a lasting change or to make a lasting, uh, create a lasting habit. Or three, take baby steps. Take tiny little baby steps. He says, you can, you don't have control over that epiphany part. You, know, you, don't, you can't just wake up one day, I'm going to have an epiphany today, right? Oh, this is the day that I'm going to change my life. And after 24 hours, you'll be like sitting over there in that same place, wondering like, what am I doing, man? Uh, I thought that was the epiphany. Apparently it wasn't. I needed more epiphany in my coffee, right? <laughs> so he says you can control the other two things. You can change your environment or take baby steps. Changing your environment is actually a very effective way to create lasting change in your life. Fun story, during the Vietnam War, when the US veterans went to Vietnam, due to the high stress environment of fighting a war, they got addicted to say certain drugs that they've been taking. And, but once they got home, you know, people over at America, they, they thought about like, man, man, they, we're gonna have a bunch of drug addicts when, once the war gets over, right? But once they came back home, most of them, a good chunk of them stopped using drugs because they weren't in the same environment of the war, the stress. 
the same cues, the same reminders that actually made them to take those particular substances. So changing your environment is really effective. The next one is to take baby steps. So that's what I did. In the last part of 2019, I was like, I'm gonna drop my ego for one last time. I'm gonna actually look at this tiny habit and I'm gonna actually do it, take steps on it. So I enrolled in this free tiny habits program, which was this five day course, which is free. And uh, by the way, I'm not being paid or sponsored to say this. I, I just love the results I got from it. So hence I'm talking about it. So the five day course tells you to pick, up, pick three tiny habits for you to take, then, do those things for five days and see what sticks. So I took, uh, I took three habits. One was to meditate for three breaths after I wake up or no, after I drink my morning water. Second one was to take my multivitamin tablets after I have my lunch every day, every single day without fail. You know the number of, the number of people who buy these vitamin and mineral tablets and don't take them? It's crazy, the numbers are crazy. Sashi, do you have a multivitamin tablet? No, I don't think he's into that, no. But I know a lot of people. I'm one of those people. I have like four, five, six bottles of these vitamin tablets, zinc, minerals, joint health, fish oil, this, that. I don't take any of them. <laughs> I just buy them like somebody told me it's good for your health or probably I should be taking them because I'm a vegetarian. And now like I buy them, it's on my shelf. I take it for like once here and there, every blue, uh, blue moon, is that, is that the phrase? Yeah, yeah once in every blue moon. <laughs> and I don't take them. So that was my second habit. Third habit was I'm gonna do push-ups, two push-ups after every time, you know, uh, after I come out of the bathroom. Every time I go to the bathroom, I come out and do two push-ups. That, did, that habit didn't work out so well because you know once I, once I, once I get, go out, it gets sort of complicated. So anyways, I did this for five days and it's probably one of the best things that I've done in 2019, like ever, period. It was so effective and so efficient. It took less than 30 minutes the entire week for me to actually do those things. Probably 10 minutes, 30 minutes is too much, 10 minutes. It was amazing. I was doing way more push-ups than I ever did. Push-ups got so easy because you know I was like, I drank a lot of water in my morning, so I peed a lot. So I did. So I, since I had to pee a lot, I had to do a lot of push-ups. <laughs> you get my point? So once I got down to do push-ups, uh, two push-ups, I was like, I'm, I'm gonna do three push-ups. Now I'm probably five, six, seven, and even Sashi was like, I'm gonna probably you know take that habit. Right, he didn't take yes. that habit. No, I didn't. He did? No. He didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't, he didn't do it. Anyways, I did a lot of push-ups. You know, push-ups got easier. Then vitamin tablets, man, oh boy. I've been taking them every single freaking day. I feel good, except for today. For some reason, I feel sick. Probably not exactly the best example <laughs> or the test case. But, you know, I've been feeling good about that. And I've been, uh, my meditation habit have evolved into a 10 minute meditation habit because some days I feel like I want to meditate more. Once I sit down for those three breaths, I feel like, you know what? I want to meditate more. I'll do meditation, you know? But some days I'm busy, I just, I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, meditate for three breaths and I'm done with it. It's been amazing. So I was like, why am I not applying these things to other areas of my life? So that's why I came up with a tiny habit for my drawing. One line a day. I'm gonna build this into my existing routine. Yeah, uh, that, that's the end of the sentence. I thought I had more. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna build it into my existing routine. So here's the challenge. My goal for 2020 is this, to draw a line every single day after I have my dinner. So usually when I, once I'm done with my dinner, I'm just either watching Shark Tank or you know browsing show, social media. So it's not exactly the best use of my time. So rather, I would create a tiny habit to start me off on hopefully a particularly good use of my time. So once I get started, which is probably the hardest part of doing anything, 
it's sort of easier for me to get into the groove. But also there are days that I'm extremely busy where I only have time to do that one single line. So it's easy for me, it's effective for me, it's simple for me to follow. And that has the potential to grow into something bigger. So that's what I'm going to do. Yesterday, I, I sat down to draw one line. I was like, man, I, I, I opened up my iPad. I drew one line, might as well do a doodle. So I do the doodle, right? I do one doodle a day for the next 365 days. I have 365 doodles. There's 365 doodles more than last year. And that will improve your drawing. That will improve your sketching. That will improve your craft. That's how it works. I, uh, Sashi uh, right here, he's a writer and he's taking up this challenge with me and uh, he's gonna write one sentence a day. He's just, yeah, just one sentence a day, right? 365 days, you will have 365 sentences for the minimum. For the minimum. Let's say you have 10 words per sentence, right? 10 words per sentence, uh, 3,650 3, sentences, but most likely 90% of the time or 80% or 75% of the time, Sashi is probably gonna write for more than that. You know, he's gonna, he's gonna write, 100 words, 200 words, sometimes a thousand words. He's probably going to have anywhere from 3000 words to 10, 15, 20 or 30,000 words. That's 30,000 words more than last year. Right? I don't think he's ever written 30,000 words to get. Um, no. <laughs> yeah, he's he's never written. Th See, these things are so simple. I don't know why people don't. Why, I don't know why people like me don't take take it up. It's so simple, right? If you want to get fit, do one push-up a day for the next year. But no, 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 we won't do that. Why? Because it's so simple. Our ego is too big, man. Our ego is too big. We think ourselves as this great warrior who was, who's going to take life by the thing <laughs> and, you know, kill it, right? But th we are warriors on some days, uh, but, but on some days we're not. We're wimps on some days, right? We're wimps and warriors. We have to also plan for those days where we are wimpy. That's that's a good line. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that's that's why these tiny habits are good and effective. So build tiny habits into your day. So here here's here's the definition of a tiny habit. A tiny habit is a habit that takes you less than 30 seconds for you to complete, that takes you absolutely zero willpower. For you to do and if you're actually thinking about that habit then it's not a tiny habit trust me you should forget that habit i don't even remember that meditation habit except the time when it comes for me to sit down and do my three breaths that's it i don't i don't think about it during the day if you're thinking about it you're doing it wrong and it should be properly built after an existing ritual in your day-to-day -day routine or else it won't stick. If you're like, oh, whatever time of day, no, it's not gonna stick. Nope, it won't, it, it just won't. You'll probably remember it for the most part, but after a point when things, you know, you, if, if, you, if you have a bad day, you'll forget it. It's already a tiny habit. 90% of the time you'll forget it. So, this is how you build the habits. Keep it under 30 seconds. Make sure you don't have, you, should, you don't extend or exert any willpower to make it or, uh, or to do it. What am I saying? Make it? No, no, do it. And make sure you build it after an existing routine in your day-to-day -day rituals. And make sure you don't think about it. You know, if you're thinking about it, then it's not a tiny habit. The push-up habit, I'm thinking about it, right? It feels a bit too much willpower-ish for me. So right now, I, I switched my push-up habit to a pull-up habit. So every time I brush my teeth, you know, I walk out of my room and my gym is right there in front of me and there's a pull-up bar in that gym. So that sort of is like acting a reminder for me that I go into my gym and do one pull-up. My goal is this. My goal this year is to do just one pull-up this year. No, 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 not one pull-up. <laughs> one pull-up every day this year that would be 365 more pull-ups than last year. I'm not gonna do more. For this particular habit, I'm not gonna do more because especially I've tried these pull-up habits in the past and really aggravates my elbows for some reason. So I'm just gonna do one pull-up. I'm gonna do 365 pull-ups this year. I'm gonna prove to myself I'm gonna be the pull-up guy who does a pull-up every day, right? That's, that's how 
you do these things. That's how you make a lasting change. So what I want to say is I'm going to focus on a lot of these mini tiny habits here and there throughout this year and build those things. And from my past experiences of building certain tiny habits without uncon you know, unconsciously, I would say probably it's, it's something that we all should be doing. I don't know. Maybe you can try. try. So the drawing thing, I'll most likely draw more than one line. I'll draw more than one line. Today, I feel, I feel a bit tired. Probably I'll just draw one line. Maybe I won't. Maybe after I sit down to draw a line, I'll probably draw more than a line. But over 365 days, I'll have more drawings than ever due to me investing a small amount of time, which is 30 seconds or less, into a really, really, really tiny thing, which is probably going to bring me a huge, huge, huge result. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll just draw 365 lines. Who knows? Right. So, yeah, that's how you build tiny habits. That's how you make lasting changes. You can, uh, I would highly recommend you check out BJ Fox Tiny Habits program. It's a five day program. It's free. I'm not being paid for it. Enroll in it. It'll give you that accountability. You'll be given a habits coach who'll have, who'll sort of help you to make the change. And if you want to know more about building long lasting habits, check out Atomic Habits by James Clear. I'm almost done listening to that audiobook. And also check out uh, Mini Habits by Stephen Guys. Uh, he was one of the very early that guy that guy right quick story about that guy he was this he was he was he was not he, he was in a bad place that's what his book tells and he was like he will he want to get he wants to get fit one year right instead of setting this goal to work out at 30 minutes a day right and get fit he said he set himself a habit of one push-up a day that's it that's all he did he got down on the floor he did one push-up every single day without fail and he built it properly into his routine very important and on the very first day once he got around to do one push-up he's like man I, I might as well do a couple more exercises then i'll do a 10 minutes ab finisher over over the year he, you should look at that guy he looks pretty damn fit that's how you do it that's how you do it and you use the same habit to write 50 words a day and he wrote his first book and he's wrote a second book, and right now he's on his third book. I think all of those three books are New York Times, uh, New York Times bestseller. These are things we can learn. These are things we can incorporate into our day-to-day -day lives. So yeah, tiny habits for the win. Go and do them, and that's the end of this podcast. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye bye. <laughs>